Okay, let's look at this one. This looks like eggs or something. Let's not piss them off anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Get off me! I'm done. I'm out. Okay, right. put the lid on. All right, so hey, here, Bob here, Mohawk Valley Farm, and we're out here at my friend Tom's house. And uh, what we're gonna do is uh, see about getting a, a hive of bees. We, uh, let's go over to his place and see how this goes. Okay, so we're uh, driving over to the, the person's house who has all the bees. He's gonna show us how to put the swarm into, a, into the hive. Apparently I was already told that real men don't wear bee suits, but that's what he told me but his son told me don't believe him <laughs> and his wife told me she's been stung many times so we're not going to follow his advice we're going to we're going to have on a bee suit so i think this is it all right let's go out let's go get some bees all right so this is my uh, friend tom i'll leave his last name out of the deal in case he's under the witness protection program thank and you <laughs> We're gonna put some bees in a, what, how, what's the right way to word this? Put some bees in a box? Put some yeah, bees in a hive? Put bees into a hive. I can see that you've got uh, a couple swarms right there. What do you call that, a swarm? A box of bees. A box of bees? And you wanna pull one out? Yeah. Uh, pick it up by the bottom. Oh, everything? Yep. There's a feeder there on the right end, on the this, left, this right is, there. This is a feeder? Feeder, and there's a screen in there. Yep. That in case bees get trapped down there, they have something to crawl out on. They make this uh, honeycomb. That's cool. And they uh, lay, what's the purpose of that? They lay the eggs and they put the honey in there? Yeah, they lay their eggs in it. Yeah. And they don't put the honey on top of the eggs. They don't? No. Oh, so it's either either or. Yeah. Some have honey, some have eggs. That, your brood frames will be brewed all the way across. What's a brood frame? A brood frame is where the baby bees are. And they, they and do they put? They, they 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 choose one for baby bees and one for honey. Yeah, they'll they'll make up their mind where they want to store their honey and yeah. uh, using the middle frames to start out as brood frames. The middle frames are. Yeah. Okay. For a long ways, we even think about honey. So how long before I can get honey? A year? No, you can get some this, this fall. Fall? So about in, four or five months? In August. August. Now look at all those bees flying on you. Oh, they'll fly around for a while. <laughs> well, we stole your wife's uh, bee suit, so... Yeah. I appreciate the she's sacrifice. She's, she's, she's an old pro. She's a, Tough old bird. She'll kick it away with the door. There you go. Put it over. We're going to put two, two irons up there. So get it over to one side. Okay. All right. I'm going to take out four. I'm set these right here. What point do I put my hood on? Uh, when we get the bees out here. All right. <laughs> put my hood on at this point. Oh, nah. he, he keeps telling me I don't have to, but... I don't know. I'm looking at you and I'm looking at his son. His son's all <laughs> suited up with his hood on. Okay. I wear my suit every time I wear my <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining this, a bee being inside of my, uh, my hood here. I'm imagining that too. That might be fun. All right. Do I look good on camera? Yeah. Look great. <laughs> I remember doing this once before, and it was a little terrifying. Take it up there. So make sure my. Uh... Okay. Oh, I gotta take a. Ooh, let me get. Let me get up close. Yeah. Holy like, see, cow! Like, how, but all those ones on the outside. Yeah, they get yes. out somehow. He said, yeah, "Yeah." They'll they'll come along with you. Yeah. Wow. So each one of those is. Uh, There's four right pounds of bees in there. Okay, this box seems fuller. How heavy is that? It's pretty heavy. Is it's, it? I mean, about four pounds, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah. So we're gonna put this over here. Yeah. Okay. So the idea here is, well, what are you gonna do? Spray the bees with the 
these. Spray them? Yeah. So, sort of cluster together. This is, All that is is sugar water. Yeah. So it's like their feed or just sugar water? It's just sugar water. Okay. That's which feed, is, really. This is the feed. This is the okay. same stuff we'll pour in here later. So we okay. just a little bit on both sides. And what does that do? Yeah. Just kind of sticks them together. They're not, they cluster together because they want to eat it? And they want, their wings will be a little bit damp, so they won't. Oh. I'm feeling like that's uh, okay. only about, I feel like only about 10 of those bees got squirted. What, what, what? Ca what causes the rest of them to stick together? <laughs> <laughs> right so take this off. Mm -hmm. And uh, at this point is when we get scared. Nope. Oh, this is just a can of bees, or what is this? So this is just a plug, basically. Uh, okay, when you get it pulled up, turn it over. Okay, now you just pour it on the top. Okay, then what? Pull it all the way out. Okay. Turn it over and shake the box out. Oh, I see. This is like some food for them. Is this the point where we give them another squirt? Yeah. It's amazing they're really quite docile for what you put them through. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't think I'd be as friendly if I was getting shaken out of a, my home or whatever I thought I'd be. <laughs> if somebody took your bed and turned it upside down? <laughs> Start shaking. <laughs> did the a oops? Did the Amazon drive? Did the Amazon guy deliver these? Does the Amazon guy deliver these? <laughs> this is your queen. <gasps> what is that? That's the queen. I'm That's the yeah. queen in there? So okay. when do we let her out? Well, they'll I'll eat We'll let her out in a minute. We're going to, yeah. So They're essentially, gonna... there's a cork in here right now. Uh -huh. yep. We're going to replace that cork with the plug. Okay. And then we'll put her in there. And then they will, basically, it's like a little sugar. So there's a cork in there. Mm -hmm. Pull that out. We put a different sugar plug in there or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they eat their way out of it and then yeah. she stays. Well, and then she goes about her business in the. We're not letting her out now, letting her fly away. Or... Uh -uh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all centered around the queen. Oh, yeah. The How do you get all those bees out of there? Well, we'll get, try to shake some of, most of them out. And then when we're done, what don't come out, mm -hmm. we'll just leave the box on the top. Uh huh. And they'll and make their the, way in. They know that. Oh, they're got it. They know the party's inside. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Yes, it is really kind of weird to just it is. dump a bunch of meats out. It is. Oh my gosh. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> they're getting really close to my face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The weird, I, for the I most part, it. bees are very docile. Uh, but one time I did have a, my dad had a hive that was very, very aggressive. And I'd been out of my bee suit for about a half an hour. Yeah. And I just went to pick up a tool that I had dropped because they were just going crazy and I'd already been stung like three times. Okay. And uh, I'm not kidding you, I had nothing on but just this white and I saw them see me out of the sky <laughs> and come down and sting me again. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, now, don't, don't. I think it's sitting with my uh, hey, what's the in queen there? inside. So that's the queen. And in that's there. an unmarked queen. What does that mean, unmarked? Well, if if it was a branded queen, mm -hmm. it would have a little spot on it, a paint spot. Okay. And every year they change colors and they're always the same every queen's marked the same color that year. Mm -hmm. so you got oh. The, do you got your other thing to put in there? What? Uh, you got your nope where's it at i gave plug. it to you oh i got it i got it okay. oh that's mine in my pocket yeah. that's what you gave me in my pocket that's yours <laughs> are we gonna do this all over again at home yeah oh brother get me one of my gummy bears <laughs> where's it at that a gummy bear like a real gummy bear yeah that's an official like beekeeping tool yeah, <laughs> there we go uh, like, how far is it in right now? Mm -hmm. See you in there? Oh, yeah. We got it! Okay. Okay, stick it down in between. 
one of these trays? Yeah. Like, oh, like in, in the middle, middle here. here. Yeah. Oh, there's in a lot the of bees there. The okay. Let's mm -hmm. squish those together so it stays. Okay, now. Mm -hmm. and then, okay. So you're going to put stuff in there. Feet. This is gives them the ability to climb out See on that you tray. Can shake them out so. now. The rest of these? Yeah. yeah. There we go. <laughs> you just got to tell it who it's boss. You're going to okay. take control there of the situation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, do you like your home? <laughs> Come out. Yeah. Just okay, just set it off to one side. Fill that baby up. All the way, not three quarters? What? No, that won't feed the whole thing. Yeah, we'll have a thumbs down. Okay. We'll drive down the mound, make sure they're coming in and out. And that's just sugar water that you're putting in there? Yep. Sugar water. That's uh, one to one. Did okay. you mix it or did you buy it? I've mixed it. Oh, you want this on the top? Yeah. Well, good. Yep. Just like that. Just don't yeah. worry about squishing them. I, I try to like brush them off. I just kind of, no, like with it, I just kind of. Yep. And okay. th those ones, this sits up and that. Oh, it sits up. Oh, I see. Put this on. I try to prevent this? the casualties. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I gave you a wooden top. I didn't give you an old because they didn't have any more. Oh, well. I like and it. Turn that sideways like that. Okay. okay, now you can start on the neck behind. All right. You don't need to spread it too much. What's too much? I wrote you did. <laughs> That's a couple of squirts. That's good. All right. Hey, you do a regular pro. It's like a big pile of bees. <laughs> There's a lot in there. Can you get too many bees in a hive? <laughs> uh, one, if you do. Mm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you get uh, stung? Worry, well, he stung me. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Well, it wasn't too bad through the jeans. Good enough for now? Mix one of these up for me? What? Yeah. yeah oh, the... nice of you. I told you I was nice to you. I'm not nicer than you or me. I'm about $90,000 last month. Well, I made you $50,000 this month. <laughs> no, I lost that. What's another $15,000? Okay, so this one? Yeah. Those. As long as I don't squish any, right? Yeah, and those ones no, in the middle, they won't, enough, we won't so squish don't... the ones in the middle. Just don't switch the queen, and the queen's in our box. Okay, and then uh, just put the lid on. Yeah. Yep. All right. <laughs> well, that was about the coolest thing ever. <laughs> See how easy that was? Okay, when you put new frames in, put it right where you take out the feeder. Gotcha. So oh, don't shuffle them around. I, what about a new queen? What is? What, do they do they appear? Yeah, the, well, when they swarm, a new queen takes over. The old queen always leaves. So what? It, where does a new queen come from? From the hive. So she lays one in it. Yeah, and uh, the, uh, they'll raise a queen. And there, you might find a dozen queen cells, uh -huh. especially if they're on the bottom of the yeah. box. And then they just take off with some bees? They can. 
So what? A lot of times the queen will kill them before they get okay. out. All right. So yeah. sometimes but, will the old queen never leave, or she'll never. No, leave? the old queen was is the one that leaves. Oh, she does. Yeah. yeah. She and she takes the people with her. Yeah. And then some that stay. That way, with, it some always stay. guarantees survival. Of the survival. <laughs> yeah. But you don't usually get stung without your uh, suit. Would you dump? I didn't get stung. Would you have dumped all those bees in there without a suit? On the other day. Uh, no. <laughs> leaving out say? the story. <laughs> I, I got stung right here the other day, just sitting on the lawnmower watching Nolan. Yeah, you remember. Now, if you see bees hitting you, yeah. you know you better back off. They're trying to get you away. Yeah, because uh, you're in their territory. <laughs> so, I want to know about all these bees on my car. How am I getting back in? Don't worry about them. You keep telling me that. I'll send you a bill for taking my bees. <laughs> you keep telling me that. He's not taking that off. I'm not taking this off here. Besides, you got bees on you, I got bees on me. We're going to drive back, deliver your bee suit back to him, unless he wants to loan it to us for a while. You might need it at our house, actually. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll uh, yeah, ask him if we house. can borrow it. <laughs> That way, uh, if I don't get a bad like reasonable too, time, I'll send you a bag of I'm not... <laughs> there. I'm right. not as tough as Tom. Okay, so anything he else? He can afford it. He's rich. <laughs> if I'm going to borrow this, I'm wearing this all the way home, by the way. <laughs> just, just in case. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. All right, thanks, you guys. Uh, Making sure there's no bees. Hey, you didn't check me. Do I have bees on me? Do I have bees on me? How do you know? Hey, do I have bees on me? No. Are you sure? I don't see any. You can't even tell from there. I don't see any. Oh my gosh. You're in the car. You need, didn't even look on the back of me. Do I have bees on me? Nope. Not a single bee. Okay. We got uh, a box of bees. We've got the beekeeper, the, the videographer has the beekeeper suit on, but our assistant, Tom, who's allergic to bees, does not have a beekeeper <laughs> suit on. So this should go well. So we just, uh, we show you the film of us go, uh, doing our practice run at our friend Tom's, other Tom's house, and uh, putting a box of bees into a, a brooder. <laughs> so here's our bees right here. The box of bees. All right, so let me put my hood up because we're going solo. We don't have the the Jedi Master telling us how to do it. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this uh, jar or this can of um, sugar water out of here. Is that the right next step? <laughs> yes. <that's, laughs> I forget. Let yes, me know. Yes, that's the correct step. Oh, yeah. I was like, what? I know. Then we take this box of bees. Like that. We're going to dump these guys into here. Here we go. This is the terrifying part. <laughs> <laughs> He says, they won't hurt you. I said, well, they just stung me. <laughs> he says, oh. <laughs> Tom's getting farther and farther away. So I'm told this little plug is like sugar that they'll eat their way through. Got that there. Put this little plug in here. So... We get the plug in, the queen's in there. This over there, so that traps the queen there. Uh, we gotta put some water in here, to give them some food. Right? Mm-hmm. there okay mm -hmm. let's get the rest of these in there 
I guess you don't get them all, but you get most. Put this lid on. Something like that. And then you have a box of bees. <laughs> Since we got our bee suit on, let's uh, let's open up this box and just see what uh, what's in here. I haven't I opened it up that one time, but I was actually terrified. But now that I've done it, now that I'm a pro, <laughs> let's see if there's any honey. These feel a little more aggressive. Yeah. I'm not loving this one so much. They're like dive bombing you and me. Well, they, these aren't trained. These mm -hmm. bees aren't trained. These were caught in the wild. <laughs> okay, let's get a close up of this. So that looks like. So there's some honey in those holes. Let's see what this one looks like. How about we just do one? call it good <laughs> my guess is it looks the same they're literally dive bombing my head right now oh holy hell it looks like they're coming in my mask i don't want to do this anymore Here, hold on video this ah! oh, this is not this is not my idea of a good time let's look at this one this looks like eggs or something yeah, let's not piss them off anymore. Okay. <laughs> I'm done. I'm out. Okay, right. put the lid on. All right. Hey, guys. Hey, thanks for watching our video. That was really cool. Uh, it's probably one of the funnest things I've ever done. I've never uh, done that before, uh, putting bees into a new bee box, uh, get starting out your own hive. So basically the process is you order the bees, you get a, you get a little container. It's about three or four pounds of bees. It's got a queen in it. Then you get your hive set up, you uh, release the bees into the container. They all kind of clump together, stay there. And then you take your queen and you got a little, uh, little tiny little box. It's got a plug in it. So you put your queen inside your uh, brooder box and then all those bees want to be there and they're going to eat their way into that little uh, tiny container, uh, that little seal plug that's got some sugar in it and uh, something the bees want to get to. They'll eat their way into that and so then the queen comes out and she's in that uh, nest and hopefully they, she stays. And so that was really, really cool. And so we did uh, two boxes at my friend Tom's house <clears throat> and uh, he showed us how to do it. We brought a box back in the car with us. That was an experience in itself, just knowing there was a few bees in our car, but it worked out fine. They're very calm. Got them here and uh, got a bee buzzing around my head right now. We got them here. <clears throat> We got one mad bee. <laughs> so we got one mad bee here. So we got the bees here. We uh, we did the same process here on our property. And I just appreciate uh, you watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I just, again, if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the in the comment section below. Please remember to subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Uh, we appreciate you doing that. And uh, we're having a lot of fun showing you our first time experiences here on the farm. So again, thanks again, Bob here at Mohawk Valley Farm, and we will see you next time. Have a great day.